Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and today I'm going to be giving you my second ever squad review on FIFA 16. Now it's actually going to be on Dundalk, a team in Ireland. Now before you say anything, I know the team doesn't look exactly fantastic, but we do yet again have another inform in there. So let me quickly go through the starting 11, and then we'll have a look at the subs bench, and we'll get into the first game of course, which is going to be in the Champion Shield, just like last time. So what I'll do is, if I don't get past the quarterfinals, then I'll go and play in another tournament. But if I do get past the quarterfinals, then I will go and just end the video there. Because that's enough games. Two games is enough to show you with this team. Hopefully, I could get to the final. But it's going to be very unlikely with some of the players in this team. So we've got in goal, we've got Rogers. Left back is Macy. The two centre-backs are Gartland and Boyle. The right back is Ganon. Then we've got the two centre midfielders in O'Donnell and Shields. Now the CDM is a very special player. This is the Inform Tau. Now I did spend money trying to get this guard because his stats look really good. He's got 70 on almost everything, which is really good for a player that plays in the Irish League. Now we look at the left midfielder. His name is Horgan. The right midfielder is Meenan. And then the striker is Kilduff. Now, he doesn't look fantastic, but I'm hoping that the team around him bring out the best in him and he scores some goals. So, who's on the bench? Well, let's have a look. Right, so this is the bench. So, we've got actually a very weird nationality to have in the Irish League, which is Italian. And the goalkeeper's name is Sava. We've then got Grimes, Finnegan, Barrett, Really. Now, Really is a very good centre-back. Now, don't let the level deceive you at all. I've used him quite a lot. Just playing against the common, I really do like him, especially as a left back. Now, I might have to play him as a right back because they don't have a second right back, but I really hope that he shows how well he is in the game because I enjoy using him. And a lot of people would think a 49 rated player and he's absolutely rubbish, but I really enjoy using him. Hopefully, he can come out big in this game. We've then got Finn, Maguire, Burn, Poiton, McMillan, and Moitney. Now, Yes, the team doesn't look fantastic and it is bronze, but I'm hoping we can go do something. So, let's go find our first opponent of this video. Right, so we've found our first opponent of this video. What team's he got? So he's got Mandanda in goal. Left back is Cohen Trout. He's then got Marquinhos and Perrin in the centre-back position. Aurier at right back. Matuidi, Pastore and Verratti as the centre midfielders. He's then got El Shirari as the left forward. Hatem Ben Arfa as the right forward. And then... Fakir as the striker. So this is going to be a very good game. Oh, Massey's got the ball here. Massey's still going. Massey with the strike. Oh, it goes in the back of the net. And Dundalk are actually winning 1-0 against this amazing team. That is glorious. So here's the goal again. I believe it's the left back that's doing all the damage here. And that was a brilliant goal. We're winning 1-0. Oh, and I've given away a penalty by the look of it. And this could be dangerous. It's now Hatton Ben Arthur versus Rogers. What's going to happen here? Is he going to go straight down the middle? Yes, he does. And I've denied him the pleasure of scoring that penalty. Ben Arthur's still going with the ball. It's Hatton Ben Arthur. Oh, and he goes and scores there. He tucks it into the back of the net. Unfortunately, when you have a bronze team, these things are going to happen. It was a really good goal on his behalf. Well done. Let's have a look at the goal again here. Unfortunately, my defenders were sliding around and doing absolutely nothing, but it was a good finish. I'll give him that. Pastore to swing the ball into the area. Oh, and a great header there, and he's put it in the back of the net. I don't actually know who headed it yet. Let's have a look. It was Verratti, their captain. And unfortunately, they're winning 2-1. Pastore swings the ball into the area. Oh, and there you go. They've scored yet again. Who is it this time? I don't actually know. It's their number two, Perrin. Okay, so unfortunately, again, I can't defend corners. And they're going to score quite a lot of them. And the balls with El Shirari. I've got to be careful because he's probably going to square it. El Shirari does square it. And of course, I called it and he puts it in the back of the net. Unfortunately, when you're playing with a bronze defense, it's very hard. And these strikers are definitely very capable. Oh, Fekir has got the ball. He's probably going to square it across. He doesn't need to, and he converts. He makes it 5-1. It's far too easy for them to get in behind. 
and unfortunately I'm paying the p I have no words for some reason that shot was deflected and it was an easy tap for Nabel Flicker to put it in the back of the net and my goalkeeper is absolutely dreadful and the ball's been laid off to O'Donnell O'Donnell with a strike and there we go we've scored we do actually get another goal. Now, at least I scored this because I would have been really annoyed if I didn't. Two goals isn't so bad when you're playing a team that's really high rated and is, of course, gold. Right, of course, now it is full time. I did lose 6-2. Unfortunately, I got absolutely demolished. Now, the only reason I got demolished was because the defence is bronze. And while the goalkeeper, even though the rating apparently said that he played fantastic... He wasn't in top shape and wasn't in top form. Now, this team was... Well, it wasn't the best in this game, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because that team I just come up against was really hard to play against. And I'm really upset that Kilduff didn't score because he's a really good player and I was surprised by how well he actually can move with the ball. So, let's get into the... Well, I've got to say, the Championship yet again. We've got to kick it off again. I'll do this again and probably another time if I keep getting knocked out in the first round. So, let's see what happens in the next game. Now, before we get into the next game, this is the team I will be using. And there is, of course, that one big problem. Most of the players are really, really low rated. So, if I couldn't win with a team that was half decent at a bronze level, then how am I going to do anything with this team? Well... I'm going to be optimistic. I'm really going to hope that this team could be a hidden type of gem and they could do something in this game. Now, of course, there is the problem with really playing at right back and, well, every player that's in the centre mid position is a cam. And then at left wing, we have to play a centre midfielder. Now, the chemistry isn't perfect, but we're going to have to go with this. Hopefully, we can get a win, but who knows? Maybe this team could be fantastic. So, let's go find ourselves a second opponent. Right, so this is our second opponent of this video. So, he's got Dikan in goal, Rekic at centre-back, Mendy at left-back, Rodriguez at left-mid. I don't know the centre midfielder, but then I do know they've got Adrian Silva as the other centre midfielder. They've got Ola Tyvenoy in, and then they've got Kate of Carlos Tevez. So hopefully this Dundalk team can do something. I'm in the away kit. I'm hoping this team will be fantastic. So, let's see what happens. And they've got the ball. He plays it across. And there you go. They've scored already. I don't know who put it in the back of the net. But of course, this is going to be the big problem with the defence. As I said yet again. And of course, everyone's favourite thing to do is to sweaty goal it. So let's see what can happen. And see if we can get ourselves back in this game. On the balls with Rodriguez. Oh, what a strike. And they've made it 2-0. And it's safe to say that this game is well and truly over. Mancelio with a great strike. Oh, that's a brilliant goal there. The finesse was absolutely perfect to beat my goalkeeper. Look at this beautiful shot. There was nothing my keeper could have done there. And we're losing 3-0. And he's still going. What a tackle there to deny him. Twivelen. And we're giving away a penalty. That is dreadful. I wouldn't say that was a penalty, I'd say he dived more, but we've given it away and there's nothing I can do. It's Adrian Silva versus Silva. Oh, he's put it straight down the middle. Of course he would put it down the middle and he's made it 4-0. Unfortunately, I knew this was going to be a struggle and I knew I was probably going to get beaten, but it was worth a try. And someday I might be able to win with this team. Christian Rodriguez is still going. What a strike and what a save by the goalkeeper. And he's put it in the back of the net. And they're winning 5-0. There's just nothing I can do. And my goalkeeper cannot catch anything to save his life. And of course he was going to convert it there. Right, and there we go. It's full time. I lost 5-0. Yes, you heard me. 5-0. I cannot believe that actually just happened. Now in terms of me playing another game, that's not happening. I'm not conceding another five or six goals in the next game because I really don't want to use this team again. Both sides are really, really dreadful. Now, it's quite upsetting because you'd think teams with decent chemistry would play well anyway. It could have been my fault that the team played dreadful, 
but this team wasn't for me. Now, if there was anyone that I had to recommend, I'd say it'd be Kilduff, the striker that was in the first team. Now, he isn't fantastic. Don't get me wrong, he is kind of useless as well, but he was the best player that I used out of everyone because when he picked up the ball, he could move with the ball and he was quite strong, but he didn't score and so there was no reason for him to be included in well, an elite list of players, and that's why he's quite low rated. Now, in terms of the goalkeepers, they were dreadful. This goalkeeper here, Sava, he had an 8.5. Don't ask me how that happened. He pretty much dropped everything that he had to save the first time, and the second time, he managed to catch it. Don't know how. Really, he doesn't deserve that rating. He deserves a 0. He was useless. Now, that may just be me saying that just because I conceded so many goals, but it's not actually... I would have loved this keeper if he could have saved something really easily, but he made a meal of everything. So I actually just checked whether I had any shots in that game, and I didn't. No shots in that entire game. That proves how bad this team is. Now I did expect that, and I did know what I was getting myself into when I did a Dundalk squad review. Don't get me wrong, I guess these players are really good in real life in their respective league, but playing online in a... Champion Shield game, not so much. Now, the next squad review I'm going to be doing, I'm hoping it's going to be a better team, and well, I can get some results in that review because when I use bronze teams, it doesn't always turn out well, and well, today's has been quite simply a disaster. So, the next team I'm going to be using, hopefully, is going to be Sunderland, but it's all to do with how much the team costs because if the team's too expensive, I won't make that team and I will go with another team but I think Sunderland would be a really good team especially with Dick Advocat just being sacked or I don't know whether he was actually sacked but I know that he left the club so the next squad review is going to be Sunderland hopefully it's going to be a lot better than this one so anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully the next squad review will be a lot better goodbye